Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. So finally, after a very long time, I am filming a sit down video. And today's video is going to be a very quick one. I'm going to be sharing with you guys five simple tips on how to get a clean and aesthetic home. Before we get into that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. You know you keep coming back, just stay, okay? I'm trying to grow this small family. So it's really mean a lot to me if you stayed by subscribing and also turning on your post notifications so you get notified each time I post a new video so that being said let's get straight into this video so tip number one is to work with what you have and not what you want what i mean by that is to always work with the amount of space you have and not what you want to have for instance if you have a big space you can work with bigger furnitures and more complicated furniture designs. But if you have a smaller space, you need to work with smaller furnitures and simpler furniture designs. If you enjoy sleeping on a king size bed but have a small space, I'm sorry, but you have to take a break on that desire because it's going to look very chaotic and out of place once you put that type of big furniture in a small space. Same goes with putting a very small bed in maybe a penthouse or a loft. It's going to look completely not belonging there. Every single furniture you make or buy should be according to the measurements you've taken based on the size of your space. If possible, make a complete design layout before you start decorating. It doesn't matter what decor style you're going for, you always have to work according to the size of your space. Tip number two is to start things away and out of sight. For a clean looking space, you don't want to have a lot of things on display or stored in sight. At first glance, it calls for an untidy looking space. You want to store your things away in drawers, cabinets, and probably wardrobes with opaque doors, emphasis on opaque doors. Things that are stored in wardrobes with glass doors are on display, but that doesn't mean you should scrap glass doors completely. You can tint the glass doors or have the things that are on display in a wardrobe with glass doors properly arranged in a way that is appealing to the eye, maybe color coordinated to match your decor. When you store things out of sight, your space just looks really open, really fresh, like you know what you're doing, even though it's a mess behind the doors. No one is seeing that, and that's why I said opaque doors, because no one is seeing that, but it's a mess. But at first glance, your space looks really amazing. Number three is to create more storage spaces. This is related to my last tip. If you're the kind of person that has a lot of things, you have more storage spaces to store those things without having them overflow into your space. Generally, having more storage space will help you keep extra things out of sight in order to achieve a clean looking space without doing too much. Number four is to work with a color team that best suits the lighting condition of your space. This is quite simple. If you have a space with less natural lights coming in, then you want to work with brighter colors as your primary decor color and then throw in some dark colors for accents. But if you have a space with a lot of natural lights coming in, then you can work with dark colors. This does not mean that you cannot work with brighter colors for a space that has a lot of natural lights coming in. You can do that. And you can also work with dark colors for a space that has less natural light coming in. This only means you need to introduce more artificial light to balance everything up. So the amount of natural light your space gets is a very important factor to consider while choosing colors for your space. The last but very important tip is to make it your vibe. Put some of your personality into it. You shouldn't always be copying and pasting all the Pinterest images into your space. Put something of yourself into it, anything at all, so that it feels like your own space. But don't do too much when you're doing it. Keep it very simple. That's all for this video. I hope these tips were helpful to you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And also, don't forget, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now and turn on your post notifications so you get notified each time I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching if you watch up to this point and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.